Tell you something else. There's a lot to be said for making people laugh. Did you know that's all some people have? It isn't much, but it's better than nothing in this cockeyed caravan. The next comic is probably the sickest fuck you'll see tonight, and I love him for it. He's one of my favorites. He is a man who is a Shaolin master of the dark arts. Ladies and gentlemen, the dark master. For this guy's one of my personal favorites. He's very warm, very lovable, very sweet, very giving. A guy who's been one of my friends since I started out of this business and he consistently brings something new to the table every fucking week. You gotta admire that kind of dedication. He's a man who has never been in any kind of business. He's one of my favorites. Give him up. Give him up. Give him up. Guys, this next comedian, are you in the clean comedy squeaky clean? This guy also helped me get kicked out of another venue that I was in. That's one of the more interesting comedy podcasts in the area. Josh Ass, check it out sometime. The best one on the internet, Mr. Motherfucking Josh Jack Boo! Woo! The Jack Ass is the social media. Jack Boo! Jack Boo! Oh no, the Jack Boo! 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 Jack Bo
Josh Cast Live. I might push that back till Friday because, uh, you know, I, I might be busy Thursday night with the meeting. So I decided to do prank calls for you. And Saturday, I'm working overtime. So it's going to be the next busy couple of days. I'm going to be drained. So that's why I did the prank calls for you now. It's on YouTube and iTunes and all that stuff. Pretty sure uh, I, I had three people at one point in the live chat room. One guy was contributing. Not as good as the last episode, but, uh, you know, it was pretty cool. So anyways, this is your favorite podcast show that you don't listen to. This is the first and worst podcast. And you gotta keep listening to find out what happens next. an interesting Thursday night it has been. As I said before in the last clip, I was supposed to have two meetings for two different strip club owners for two possible open mic slash show um, ideas and I am 0 for 2. <laughs> Not a big surprise. So here's what happened. So I called the Oasis that's the guy in Delaware from the prank calls for you that I was supposed to have the furry party comedy show and at first I called, and the guy said he's not going to be in until after 7. So I called around 7.30, and then he, uh, the guy picked up. His name's Joe. And I said, hey, do you remember me? I'm the guy that called you about shaving your back and all that stuff. And he's like, no, I don't. I get a lot of calls. And I was like, oh. And I was like, well, I was talking about the open mic comedy thing. We were on the phone. He's like, oh, yeah, yeah, I was like, I was dead serious about that. He's like, well, I wasn't. I said, oh, you really joking? He was like, yeah, dude. I was just messing around. I was just going back and forth with you. And I was like, oh, because I would like to do it. I was like, yeah, I know. I was like, nah, I'm not interested. So I hung up on him. So that was uh, a fail. And I'm actually, well, I really wanted to do that. I wanted to meet the guy, and I thought that'd be cool. I was going to take an Uber down there. It probably would have cost me uh, $27 or $30 each way. I would have spent like 50 60 bucks on two Ubers just to meet the guy. But it would have been worth it if we would have got the room. But So that was a fail. And then I called the guy around noon today on my lunch break for the Club Risque near my house. And he didn't call me back till around 6. So I didn't think it was going to happen. And he said, yeah, I'm down to meet tonight, but I can't meet till 8. So I walked up there. Um, I uh, met with the guy. He kind of looked like uh, this comedian, Jason Hazelwood. This is an inside show. Uh, he had a really big head. He was a short guy. Uh, very, uh, he wasn't muscular, just really wide, really fat, you know. Not to insult the guy's appearance, because I'm no, uh, you know, model. And we talked for about a half an hour, and I can tell within the first five minutes that this guy had high expectations, so he's showing me around, and it was a nice little hookah lounge. And he's like, yeah, you know, uh, so, uh, this is the room, and he's like, oh, by the way, this PA system, the receiver's not working. So I'm thinking, well, why are we meeting right now, you know? We have, the guy doesn't even have his sound working. So we start talking, and I asked him about the open mic last year, and he said, yeah, we used to start pretty late. We used to start like 10, 30, 11, and I was thinking right away, okay, that's bad. Most of the comics that I know are not going to want to, you know, get there, that you know, start that late. And then we start talking, and he says, you know, I expect to make money from this, you know, and, I, and I'm thinking, well, how much? So I asked him straight up, I said, well, how much money? He said, I expect to make $1,000. I said, dude, from comedy? I said, this is open mic comedy. He's like, well, why is that crazy? I said, because it's open mic comedy. I was like, if this was a, a comedy club, I mean, Rich Voss, I told him, I said, Rich Voss was at the comedy cabaret. There was only 30 people there. The guy made a couple hundred bucks, but even with the drinks, he probably didn't make 1000 you know, all together. So, you know, that's the problem with talking to people that, that don't do comedy. They don't understand that. They don't, they don't do comedy, so they don't know how it works. 
So he said that he was making $500. Their drinks must be $30 a piece because I don't know what he's talking about. But anyways, he was telling me he was working for the community. Center. And I can tell by talking to him that it wasn't going to work out. So he said, well, if you could figure that out, man, you're the host. If you could figure that out and get, I said, well, how many people? All these people. And he, he wanted to charge the comics. And I told him, I said, dude, if you charge the comics, it's not going to work. And he was like, well, you're saying the comics won't pay a cover? And I said, well, no, because they're performing. He doesn't get that. So it's not going to work out. But listen, I tried. Uh, I wasted a Thursday night. Uh, tomorrow night, I might be at the Northeast Cabaret doing, uh, if the bartender lets me use the room and Will Fitz is free and uh, Bill Miller, I might uh, be doing a Josh Cast Live. I wanted to do it tonight. Tonight was a beautiful night, wasted, uh, because I met with that guy. But hey, listen, I tried, folks. That's all you can do. So I yapped for four minutes. Let's get to the topical news. Let's get to that. Yep. Oh, yeah. Subway. Subway's closing 500 stores. You know what? I'm actually glad about that. I, I don't like Subway. Uh, I, I eat at Subway once in a while. Uh, I'm tired. They're fucking bright as crap. All right. It smells weird. Unless you're really starved and hungry. And uh, yeah, I don't fucking like it. And I'm glad. I miss Quiznos. I wish Quiznos would come back. Big story is Bill Cosby has been found guilty. We'll get more to that later. Top Josh Cast story. Uh, five bodies found di- in a car in Cancun. That's just a typical night, by the way, Cancun. Detectives use geological site to ID Golden's, Golden State Killer suspect. Mm. So, yeah, we got to get more about this Cosby story. Um, it says, after a guilty verdict, what happens next for Bill Cosby? Uh, we all the guys only got a few he, if he's lucky a year left he's, I, I imagine he's going to kill himself I mean the guy's how old is he right uh, it says Thursday after about 12 hours his conviction of all three counts um, Cosby is not going to jail it says at least not yet uh, because he already posted a 1 million dollar bond he may be free until bail supposed to happen within 90 days he's 80 years old He's blind, declining in health. So yeah, I mean, I imagine he's just gonna kill himself. He's gonna take those roofies, and his uh, his lazy eyes gonna explode. That's what I uh, that's what I think is gonna happen, folks. But yeah, I mean, that's crazy, man. And, and by the way, isn't drugging and roofing girls isn't it a white guy crime? I mean, really? Roger Goodell booed relentlessly in Dallas. Yeah, the six. Oh, by the way, the Sixers advanced to the second round. First time since 2012. That's cool. New autism sh- scan shows more kids being diagnosed. That's sad, man. I mean, it really is. I mean, it's like some of them have high autism, which means that they're smart. But still, it's just a uh, high school dancer killed by an ex in brutal murder suicide. Really cute Hispanic looking girl. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. He couldn't. He, he he didn't want no other guy having her, so he killed her and himself. They're already talking about football draft. Lottery winners. Oh, yeah, hang on. I think I read that story before. All right, so I'm going to do some. I'm really tired uh, today at work. Uh, was bring your children to work day. Bring your children to work day. Uh, it was fucking terrible. Um, I had to move all these tables and stuff. Long story, I am fucking beat. I wasn't going to go to the meeting. I was going to cancel. But I'm going to do this fucking segment and get this out the way. Uh, public freakout commentary. <laughs> commentary, commentary. I'm tired as you can tell. I can't talk. So get ready for that. That's next. <laughs> All right, it's public freakout commentary. Entitled assholes recorded and being recorded all over the world, and the online fails YouTube channel. That is the YouTube channel that I've been using to capture these. There's a bunch of them, but that's what I've been using strictly now. I have seven clips to get to. Let's not waste any time. Let's get to episode 364. And this is right in the beginning at the five second mark. This is crazy. Now, this is more of a visual. But this guy gets in a road rage accident with another guy. The guy uh, that's being recorded, he starts smashing the guy's car with a baseball bat. And this guy has a brand new car. So let's get into it. You're going to f***ing jail. Oh, my God. So he smashes the guy's... Uh, uh, passenger, I mean, his driver door and the, uh, the front windshield out. 
Look at this guy. Look at this guy. He just. I did nothing to him. Look at this piece of. Dude, look what he did in my car. Look at this piece of. Look at you. And now, and every time the guy, the guy uh, holding the camera walked walks towards him, the guy tries to act like he's gonna hit him with the bat. This guy, there are crazy people out there. You gotta be careful who you yell on the road because people have. This guy has a bat in his car, which means he's ready to kill somebody. You attack me? Are you gonna attack me? What do you? What are you nuts? What did I do to you? What did I do to you? And this guy looks like a pussy, by the way. The guy. Um, that's being the guy that's smashing his car. He looks like a guy who got bullied his whole life. He's got glasses on. He just all you have to do is smack the glasses off his face and then stick the bat up his ass. This is the guy's plate number. Are you <laughs> down? <laughs> and now he's filming the lady he's with. Obviously, she's with him because he's a rebel. He's a bad boy. Listen to this guy. He just destroyed my brand new car. He just. You destroyed my brand new car, you idiot. <laughs> she was going to get out the car and beat him up. And then the car drives away. Okay, the next clip. This takes place in some sort of a hotel parking lot. And uh, the lady that's being recorded. Actually, there's both sides. There's two sides of this. Let's get into this because I kind of forgot. Manic means she has bipolar condition. I know because I did a, uh, my, my actually, my final project uh, in high school was on uh, bipolar disorder. Okay. And if you put anything recording to me. I'm allowed to, actually. No, you're not Legally, allowed to. Legally, you're not. I am. Legally, you're not. Well, not without my permission. Well, I'm well, once again, it depends. I mean, if it is on private property, she can't. But if it's in public and... It looks like this is private property, so she might be right. But it's every time someone says you better not put this on YouTube, they end up putting it on YouTube. This has over thirty-one thousand views so far. That's not good if you don't want to be online. I'm going to. Well, do what the f you do, but my lawyer will sue the f out of you, dumb. Okay. okay. Out. So what's your name? Alexa. Alexa, what? Jennifer. Is Jennifer is your last name? Yeah. Oh, she gave her a smart aleck answer. She should have used suck my cock. Alexa Jennifer, uh -huh. you are going to jail. Yay, can't wait. Yay for you, you can get in your ass. Woo! Can you give me my drink, please? I need you to drink it, but you need to step out. <laughs> oh my god. Do you think it's funny, you I, I do think it's funny. You are going to hell. Oh. And you are the devil. There is nothing yes. funny about it. Okay. And this lady's really weird, by the way. She's dressed like a... And she's one of those old ladies that tries to dress young. She's wearing like this young girl sundress. She's really short. I mean, if she has bipolar, I'm not going to make fun of her for that. And the guy just hands her a big gulp. She looks like an old... She looks like a, a young girl that has some sort of like Benjamin Button thing. Not to make fun of her. She's just weird, but... Thank you. Why don't you come out here so I can beat the shit out of you? Alright. Well, come on! I will. I will. Come right on! Alright, I'm right here. Let's get off the property. Run hands, shawty. Run hands. Come on! I'm right here. Come off the property. I'm good. My they car's right the here. Police. They're calling the police? Yes, come on, you scared little I'm not you. Yes, you okay. step away, please. I will break your skinny neck. Aww. Aww. You're so sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Aww. Are Do you, you have a dick? Or meth? Both, actually. Eat something, you skinny bony. I work out a lot. So, I so she's th this chick that said that's pretty skinny herself, but. All right, so this is three clips back to back. This is the last one for episode 364. This is a, uh, a middle-aged white guy, and uh, he is in a white van, and he is the one being recorded. He's not recording. He's the one being recorded, and uh, he uses the term ganja, which is really funny. He got made fun of pretty bad in the con uh, comment section because he just sounds old school, which he is, but 
Let's listen. He just I have no you. fear of he a just, person like you. I have no fear of you either. You better have fear. I you have no fear at all. I, I have no fear at all. So what do, you, what do you want me to fear? What do you want me to fear? You want me to fear something? The police. So, okay, <laughs> call the police. We're not doing anything wrong. I have him standing in the middle of the road. All you have to do is beat the hey horn guy, or lower I the smell window ganja. and tell him to... The police are coming. No, there, I smell ganja. <laughs> I have no ganja here, so you can go ahead and do something. Go ahead. <laughs> call the police. I have no ganja here. Gee, are you gonna go on with your day or are you gonna keep standing here? Go on my day as long as So I think his wife is calling the cops now. She's on the street she's on the passenger side of the car. She's calling somebody. She's got sunglasses on. Very cool. I know my children are here when I have a person like you around. We'll see about this. Damn right. I, I'm, I'm standing right here. I'm standing right here. Do you here. know what I expect? What do you expect? I expect when there's trouble in the community that someone like my neighbor will come along and help me out. Okay. Not the yelling in the middle of the street about things that are inappropriate. You just came up to... You're Hello? not reading me. Pa. Pa, so I, I'm here working on my garage and we're not doing anything wrong and one of my friends is standing in the street. This guy drives up right behind me. Yo, go in my, go, go in my house. All right, so it gets pretty repetitive after that, but he used the term ganja. Uh, episode 366, um, right at the 2.47 minute mark. This is a woman in a drive through She's she's complaining that she goes to Wendy's five days a week, which means she wants to die of obesity. And she's not happy with her order and the service. And uh, let's get to this. Was it uh, the five nuggets, cheeseburger box? Did you just call her a psycho? I'm the psycho that's on the phone. Okay. I heard you. That's great. Yeah. Anyway, this is how your sandwich is a wrap. This is thing I said you raw bacon. And by the way, this woman runs a restaurant, so her a lot of people made a good point in the comment section and said her food must taste like shit. Because if you won't eat your own food, why are you going to Wendy's every single night, five days a week? Yeah, this is how to wrap. Do you know which? Right do you know which? You know which one is a junior bacon and cheesies? They're all wrapped the same for one. That's the first well, mistake. Well, we don't wrap. We don't do like that. That's the first that. mistake. Second, this one is a junior bacon cheese. My bacon is here. Mm -hmm. That's the first one. Mm -hmm. That's that's Mayo, one, lettuce, tomato, one little piece of cheese. sloppy bacon. Okay. The next one is your your raw your raw stuff that you get. Here you go. You can have it. I mean, you say it's not raw. You come She's trying to hand the guy something raw. Smack your fucking hand out the out your face. A liar on the phone. You don't I serve. We don't this serve is raw. raw. Okay, you do. Is this raw? Or am I wrong again? I mean, I just paid $25 and I come here five times a week to win. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, this is ridiculous. And then when you call me a liar, I was really mad. And then you call me a psycho just now. You're a manager, really? I'm a manager too. I run a restaurant. I didn't, I don't serve raw bacon. Okay, but what, is that, is that raw? No. Oh, it's not. We're going to eat it. I mean, I don't, I, my, my policy... Well, he's not going to eat it now that your dirty fingers have been on it. Yes, I don't serve nothing I wouldn't eat. Would you eat this? Find somebody in there that would eat this. Would, would you eat this, sir? It's raw. Would you eat this? Thank you, sir. But it's not raw. He says it's not raw. I don't think he serves that, honestly. Oh, no, you can't. That's not even Now I'm another liar. That's not bacon. It's not bacon. It hasn't been baked. That's what we serve. There's your bacon. You truly gave it to me? And I've got this. You're, you're a sorry ass manager. I'll let you know that now. But anyway, to go on with my uh, thing here, because I'll call corporate tomorrow and figure that part out. Here's your other, I mean, the burnt. I, I mean, like I say, I run a restaurant. So I'm not. Yes, the bacon's are, raw. The, the bacon burger's a burnt. Now, I, I think what they're trying to do now is they're trying to act like Chef Ramsay. Chef Ramsay is the only guy I know to use the word raw. And notice that they're using it a lot. So she thinks she's Chef Ramsay. Notice she says she runs a restaurant. So she's like, it's raw. The burgers are burnt. It's raw. The burgers are burnt. Is that? Would you eat that, sir? Thank you. Would you eat that? Oh, you look like a burger. This is one of I your. I served that, really? Yeah. No, not, you just said you had my order. You just read it back to me on the phone. You read my whole order back to me on the phone. That's how it came. That's what I'm. No, I went home and toasted it some more. What do you think? Well, I. I'm you didn't much serve. Well, then I think you need to come sure. talk to your servers okay. and eat some food. Okay, well, you, now you didn't serve it, right? That's the best you can come up with. You didn't serve it and you don't serve raw bacon. I mean, really, this was just a simple call. Had you not called me a liar, I wouldn't have brought this food up here with the trash. And Because I'm not the type to want nothing free. You can take this shit. I don't want it and I don't want nothing free. It ain't about wanting something free. It's about you called me a liar and you served this to me. 
but yet you won't take it. And you're telling you me that this food ain't yours. You don't think this food's yours. This guy is a manager. He's not wearing the typical Wendy shirt. He has on a striped shirt. He earned the right to wear that striped shirt. He is a manager. And you fucking psycho. And she heard you over there. You what? This bacon never came out of the store. So what I do? Get some bacon from the store on here? I actually think the lady's right. I think the only problem is that she said that she goes to Wendy's five days a week. And she's just acting super entitled because she runs a restaurant. That was the problem. But she's probably right, though. The service was probably shitty. All right, we got three clips now from episode 365. This next clip, this is a black woman being accused of stealing because she has a lot of stuff in her purse. Now, I don't know if she actually stole it or not. So, But she's very upset at this guy. So let's get to this. This is at the 1.52 minute mark of the uh, 365 episode. Black and I'm black, man. Y'all better get y'all mind right. Oh, my are you, okay, so why the you think I'm gonna come in the kitchen still? I don't. I need to show you. The camera should have showed you whether I stole yeah. something or not. I think this is a Chinese guy, and uh, what? And, and the thing is, he might not be accusing her because she's black, by the way. But once again, black people always gotta throw the race thing in. She clearly stole, by the way. That's why she did that whole tantrum. Okay. Now, the next clip, there's only two more left. This is at the 5.57-minute uh, mark. Now, this is more of a visual. If you want to see a great pair of tits, go to episode 365, When All Life Fails, Public Free Gal compilation, and go to the 6.07, no, actually, I'm sorry, the 5.57-minute mark. There's a redhead white chick. She's wearing a bra. And she's just, this isn't, once again, a, a good public freak out, but she has, she has great tits and everyone in the comment section agrees. So let's, let's, let's listen to this. Well, once, once again, listening to it's not good. Watch it. Like, yeah, he's about to start. It's four o'clock. He said he was starting at four. So we're right on time. Ginger Bimbo, because I don't know a famous person. Maybe you guys should get out of these famous people's lives and like. You're really not that interesting. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. You're so kind. Jesus loves you. Yeah, it's kind of weird. The camera was so close to her face. It was like, I don't know if there was the bartender, but she had a really cute face, really great perky tits. Now, this is right after that clip, 6.22 minute mark. Uh, I'm not going to play all this. This is a bunch of black guys in a store. And they're offended because, I guess, the owner of the store called the black woman a bitch. Not that same clip we played before. A different one. And they look like the Black Panthers. They're all wearing black. And they're they're threatening to, you know, uh, do something to scare the guy. And let's listen to this. <laughs> Alright, so now they're surrounding this old Chinese guy. So, that's the problem I have is, even if, let's say this Chinese guy did call a black woman a bitch... You really need six guys to straighten them out. I mean, if there was like three guys and they were young or something, I can understand. It's one old Chinese guy, and you're sitting there trying to scare the guy to death. You know, it's like, come on, man.
Because we have an issue with this store disrespecting our women, placing their hands on our children. We have an issue, and it needs to be addressed. Who do I talk to? If I can't talk to you, I need to talk to somebody. Who do I talk to? This is a serious issue, and you're not putting us to the side about it. So, they're, they're, so they got different guys around the store filming this in different angles, like they're making a fucking DVD or something. And even, if they're, even though they're not being violent and, and in the guy's face, it's just the fact that there's so many of them. It's just, you know, it's just like, geez, this is just an old Chinese guy. I mean, one big black guy can straighten that out himself, you know? Who do I talk to? Let me handle this job quiet. Who do I talk to? You know what this looks like? And I'm not trying to be racist. Coming to America. Um, you know, the guy that was in the phone book commercial, that guy with the deep voice, that's what they all look like. They just look like they're from coming to America. They're all sitting there with their Black Panther. They got their sunglasses on. They're away from the guy. I will say that. Like, they're far away. But still, it's a little too much. Who? Who? Who, who do I talk to? Not her. She's not the owner. I, I want to talk to somebody that's in charge. Stole something that she did not. She did not. He didn't even apologize. What he did was, he said, all black bitches steal and get the fuck out of my store. Now, does that sound like something an old Chinese guy would say? Highly doubtable. He might have, he might have called her a black bitch, but I don't think he said that. Get the fuck out of my store. We got it on video. I'm Let's see it. Where is it? I'm telling you this. How dare you disrespect our community? How dare you call our women black bitches? That is the top Wait a minute. Black guys call black women black bitches more than anybody. Listen to rap music. Go on YouTube and type in uh, don't date black women. It's a lot of black YouTubers out there. Black men who say black women are nasty. Black women are ghetto. Black women have kids. I mean, what are you talking about? Black men shame black women more than anybody. It's not white guys doing it. And that's not happening. We're going to shut you down. We're coming back here. We're going to be in front of this store. We're going to show you what a black bitch is. So he's going to make this guy lose his whole business and, and everything because of a situation. That's the best thing I have about black people is even though they stick together, it's just too much. They always have this thing where it's like, I'm going to get my gang on you. You know, it's like. They fuck with you, but if you fuck with them back, I'm going to get my gang on you. It's like, come on, man. Really? You guys aren't tough. And you sitting here shaking your head, yeah, 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 yeah. I can show you better than I can tell you. It is intolerable that you all treat our community this way when we're keeping you in business. A1 Beauty and Supply. Black people come here all the time to spend their money, yet you disrespect us. Accuse no, black people go there because they're cheap and they can't afford a real weave. That's for stealing. All black bitches steal. That's what your owner says. Well, most black bitches steal, right? A1 Beauty. How dare you disrespect our black women like that? And we're coming back. Yeah, we love our black women so much, we be fucking white girls all day. That's right. That's why you see mostly black guys with white women. Because we love our black women. Ain't that right, Jerome? Mm -hmm, yeah. Back. You can sit there all you want to. We're coming back to this store. I'm angry. I'm upset. We... I feel sorry for your mother. What'd you say, nigga? I said I feel sorry for your mother. To make you, we spend money in your store. Put money in your pocket so you can send it back to your children. But yet you disrespect our women. Are you kidding me? No justice, no, no peace. No justice, no, no peace. No justice, no peace. No justice, no, no peace. We are the nation. A domination, nation, a domination. All right, so that is end of the public freakout commentary. I hope you enjoyed it. Once again, entitled assholes recorded and being recorded all over the world and the online fails YouTube channels uh, where I get my content from. So thanks to them. And uh, we'll get to the next segment. So keep on listening. Yeah. Hey, a Saturday night here. And not to bore you with my financial life, because nobody cares about that, let alone my own life, but I worked overtime today. I'm only bragging about it because I'm one of the most laziest people in the world, and I didn't do a whole eight-hour day. I think uh, 
uh, was I uh, pretty much sat around all day, did no work, and then the last hour I did work. It was a long day. It was nice today. Could have did some stuff, but I got paid time and a half, and I, you know, um, yeah, that's so boring, right? Just like my life. But I, uh, I was complaining earlier, like, oh, what am I doing? I'm working so much. I mean, six days, folks, a week. That's enough. Five days a week at your job. Six days. I'm here every day. I must really love this place. Not. And on top of that, there was a big event in my work, and it was mostly black people at the event, and they were taking all the chicken and soda like it was World War II going on. I mean, you should have saw this lady had chicken fingers stacked to the ceiling fan. I was thinking to myself, this is what this is what it's going to look like when the world ends. Black people taking chicken fingers and soda like it's a fucking zombie, ap- zombie apocalypse. I know that sounds racist, but it's the truth. Jesus, calm down. Don't you eat at home? Don't you got enough chicklins? All right. I just woke up from my nap. Anyways, yes, I'm going out tonight. I went out last night. We'll talk about that. Uh, the sober commentary with drunk people segment have been getting worse and worse due to my um, anger of uh, not getting laid and people and such. But we're going to see what happens. All right. Let's get to some topical news. I understand the um, sports-related news. Who cares? The Utah Jazz um, beat the Oklahoma, um, Oklahoma City Thunder. And that Westbrook guy, I like him, man, because he's a real nigga. After the game, these two white people were kind of close to his face. And they weren't doing anything. It was like a middle-aged couple. And he got right in their face and said, get the fuck away from me. And then when he did his press conference, he said the Utah Jazz fans were very brutal. They said a lot of mean stuff. He didn't say anything about racism. But yeah, he, I, I like that Westbrook guy because, uh, yeah. Now, here it is. It says, golf course that calls cops on black women loses business. Now, this is, the, once again, this is the world we live in. I'm not saying that, who knows? I mean, maybe these guys are wrong, these two white guys I'm looking at here. One has sunglasses, the other one just looks like a asshole. But they only report what white people do to black people. You never hear anything about the stuff that black people do to white people. That's the problem I have. But let's let's get more into this story. And I'm not that far right, folks. But still, seriously, faces for call for state investigation. Uh, golf course orders called the police on five African American women. They said they were not playing fast enough. The women were told by the owners. And uh, now, once again, here's the problem that I have. Let it, it's oh, this is in Philadelphia. It says, "Well, you see, these African American women dealing with the issue for many people. It brings this very long, troubled history of racism and sexism." It says, "Now, here's the thing: you can't call the cops on black people. It seems a black person can be robbing your house, and if you call the cops on them, you're racist. I mean, it's like maybe these black women were in the right. Maybe they were just having fun, taking their time. I mean, golf, you're supposed to take your time, but." It seems like whenever you call the cops on black, just like the Starbucks incident, oh, you're racist. It's like, come on, we can't live in a world where black people just can do whatever they want. We can't call the cops on them. I mean, I call the cops on them all the time, even if they're not doing anything. All right, that's a joke. All right, who cares, right? Uh, Prosecutor Cosby case filled with all after a guilty verdict. Oh, yeah, I would be too. Uh, Reed apologizes, no evidence of hacking. What's this story about? Oh, NSBC host Joy Reid apologized for homophobic remarks. Oh my god, a black person apologized for what they said? What is this, 1862? Cracker, please. Take it easy. I'm only jackabooing. It says, uh, former NASCAR driver's son was killed in an accident. That does happen in race cars. You know, driving at high speed, that can kill you. I know. I almost died in my car accident. I wish I did. I wanted to do this podcast shit. All right. That's enough. Come on, everybody. Uh, Kanye wants to put Mother Mother Surgeon on album cover. He is a genius, this guy. Absolute genius. No, I'm kidding. Uh, Larry Harvey, co-founder of Burning Man, has passed away at 70. Mm. What else we got? Usually on the weekend, it's a very slow news day. Retired officer shocked after colleague named Golden State Killer. Yeah, man. That could happen. I wish I knew. My life is so boring. I wish I knew a serial killer. I would be excited. Like, oh my god! That guy was a serial killer? That was fucking awesome. I'm like, oh my god. What, excuse me, sir? That's awesome. I wonder how many people he killed. I could have joined them. It would probably lock me up. 
Well, seriously, my life is so boring. It's like, I don't know anybody. No offense if you're listening to this. That's, you know, I'm not interested in myself. You guys hear my show. I got nothing to talk about here, folks. Yeah, there's not much going on. I think that's it for right now. So, yeah, it's raining outside right now, but that won't stop me. Do a little drinking, do a little venting, uh, talk about my boring night last night, whatever happens tonight, unless I have an interesting night tonight. You never know. Sober commentary with drunk people. That segment's still going on so I can find to replace it with something else. You stick around, cunts. I mean, you nice people, you? Sober commentary with drunk people. It's 1.50. I'm recording this early. I wasn't going to do this segment because it's getting worse and worse. I'm going to cut this shit out down at the train station. As you know, it's been raining all night. Fucking last night, I only stayed out for like uh, about two and a half hours because I had um, I had work. So I uh, fucking went to drinkers and got a shot in a beer. I was wearing my brown suit jacket last night. And when I walked in, this comedian who works at the bar, he's a city comic, he started laughing at me with his uh, faggot uh, friend who worked at the bar. But I still tipped him. I don't know why I shouldn't have, but I'm just used to tipping people, you know. And then I went to the um, fucking uh, the salsa spot. Yeah. I was there. It was. I keep forgetting to just sign up for the guest list, but I just paid five, and I didn't dance with anybody. I just danced by myself. There wasn't a lot of girls in there, and I left early. Um, I left at like uh, something unusual happened last night. I got late. No, I'm kidding. When I was just going down to the train station, the train came right away. But I had to wait 15, 20 minutes for the train. So, that, so that's what I'm saying. You see how late my night was? I didn't do shit last night. I ran into this guy, Jay. I know. We talked for a little bit. I was wearing my stupid brown suit jacket. I think the bouncers were laughing at me. That's all that happened. Tonight, because I worked today, I got lazy. I went to Old City. I finished my concoction of Amsterdam vodka and vitamin water. And then I was sitting down outside in this bar. Uh, just... Um, chilling this fucking old lady was like can i close this door i said i don't work here and she said oh okay and she closed it see my night's so interesting and last night a girl i think a cuba libre asked me if i worked there see my <laughs> and it's just so interested right they're getting good <laughs> yeah no i gotta calm down right it's fucking lame out here it wasn't that good the last two nights but fuck it you know um what else? So I went. To, I was going from place. I was going from like uh, spot to spot tonight. I fucking went to uh, fucking uh, pla- uh, uh, bootleggers. I walked out. I went to fucking plow. I walked out. I went to Nashville. I walked out. So finally, I decided I got no choice. I went to Blue Martini, which is like pretty much a black spot on Friday and Saturday nights. I have not been to this place in like maybe two years, a year and a half, two years. It's been a long time. I went there. And same thing, I didn't dance with any chick. There was lots of uh, booty in there, lots of uh, black chicks twerking and shaking their ass and such. I didn't dance with any of them. Lots of thick jaws, as you would say. I didn't try at all. I just stood around, getting bumped around, getting everybody's way. I was in there for like an hour, left, went back to National, stood around. This faggot bumped into me and made fun of me with his girlfriend. And he wouldn't say it to my face because I would have headbutted them with my fat head. He's a fucker. And, uh, I mean, I could go outside right now and cover the action, but I'm just going to cut it short tonight. I'm trying to get the early bus. There are uh, the trains. I can get to the train station early. Because there's no point. It's like it's coming. It's not coming down hard, but it's coming down enough that you can get wet. You know? And I've already been wet enough tonight. And nothing ever happens. It's the same shit. I don't talk to anybody. I just fucking stand around. You know... Why thirsty guys chase attention craving cunts. Uh, I think the train's coming. Let me see. Yeah, I might wrap this up. Sober commentary with your own people. We'll talk later if there's more. All right, I just got off the bus. You see how quiet it is out here in good old Northeast Philly. Uh, one thing I do want to say is in the black club, what was going on? There was a big birthday party. There was actually a really hot chick in there. She looked Latina. She might have been black and Spanish. She had big tits and asked this white guy. You could tell he was a liberal douche. Probably a cool guy, but he was coming off that way. He bought her a drink, and she grinded on him for a little bit. 
she was not interested. He kept coming over over and over. Her and her friend had to look like, you know, get away from me. Um, a girl did ask me if I worked there. Should have said, yeah, suck my dick, but didn't want to get killed, you know, by myself. So, folks, even though I am a racist, <laughs> I did spend 10, 10 bucks to go into a black club. Last night, I spent uh, 5 plus 8 for the... So I spent like twenty three dollars for two nights out. Um, nights I'm I'm spending more money to do less, pretty much. So I got to figure this out. But that's all that really happened uh, tonight. Pretty lame. So I noticed this just by the shortest sober commentary segment I've done in a long time. But that's it. So next segment. <laughs> All right, let's wrap this episode up like Bill Cosby would wrap up one of his white girl victims after he unconsciously fucked her. Is that any good? No? All right, too mean. Well, anyways, I just wrote a new song. I haven't recorded it and mixed it and edited it and all that stuff. Not to say that I'm a, a master mixer. More like a master mixer is what I am. But it will be on the next episode, the one after this. Actually, the one after this, it may be... A Josh Cast Live if we do that, but the one after that, whatever. The next uh, studio um, version of the show I do. You know, whatever. The Josh Cast Studios, which is my parents' basement in Northeast Mayfair, Philadelphia, folks, is booming. Podcasts, songs, mostly podcasts, prank calls and such, uh, videos, everything. It's all here. Right here. That's right. And I'm surprised because I work six days this week and I went out and I'm a lazy fuck. Well, as you can see, the sober commentary segment is getting worse and worse. It might go away for a while. I don't know yet. I need to step it up. But in the meantime, we'll figure that out later. Uh, let's get to the fucking uh, topical news and weird news. And uh, as I said, you know, it's gonna. This is it. This is the end of the episode. Pretty, uh, pretty lame. But yeah. All right, what's going on here? Bus carrying high school chorus team crowd crashes in South Carolina. Let's see if anybody, if everybody was okay. Uh, it says 17 people were injured, two were in serious condition. This happened 1 a.m. Oh man. Yeah, so I guess that uh, nobody died or anything. Boo! No, I'm kidding. That's that's terrible. Um. Uh, yeah, a lot of sports news going on. The NFL draft. Who cares about that, right? Rich Negroes making money. All right. Three Palestinians shot dead on the Gaza border. I think that's just every day, isn't it? Uh, comedian says she's she never attacks Sanders' looks. That's Michelle Wolf, I believe. Am I right about that? I think I read something about her. Yeah, Michelle Wolf hits back. Um, a criticism that she attacked Huckabee Sanders' look, Sanders looks. Uh, it says, uh, this is at the dinner. All these jokes were about her despicable behavior. Oh, shit. I forgot I have Windows 10. It just plays a video without asking you. Um, driver in Fatal Hit and Run was unaware of the crash. So somebody just killed somebody and just kept driving. Uh, driver, 86 years old, claims he was unaware of the crash. It's like that Doug Stanhope bit, you know? He goes, you know, he goes, old people, they don't even know what they do. They go, I'm old. Um, he hit a nine-year-old boy in Queens, and he fled because he was being threatened by another driver. So he just hit a kid and said, oh, he's young. He'll be all right. And the dying boy, uh, he said, don't let me go. The dying boy begged his mom, a witness said. Oh, that's sad. So that that guy might as well kill himself because they're gonna find his ass and he'll be he'll be in jail like the cons. Dog saves three year old who wandered from home. See, dogs are heroes. Uh, Alex Trebek to appear on Drag Race following RuPaul's Jeopardy cameo. Well, that's exciting. Maybe her dress up in drag. Uh, George H. W. Bush's uh, health given by his son. He's in a wheelchair. He doesn't have much time left. So the bushes, um... No, no jokes there when I say the bushes. Yeah. So everyone's saying that Michelle Wolfchick is uh, mean and vile. MMA fighter 
tied to Trump um, reportedly interviewed by FBI. Oh shit, so he did something, that guy. He must have put him in a, a fucking sleeper hold or some shit. Sleeper hold, that's wrestling. A, a rear naked choke. That's still wrestling. Um, yeah, I think a dog killed a baby. Oh my god. I don't want to read that story. That's sad. See, a dog saves a baby in one story, and then a dog kills a baby. Or, you know, all right. Let's get to the weird news. Let's do that, huh? And then we'll check out some technology news and some celebrity news. Um, it's always about animals. Fruit, pungent, smell mistaken for gas leak. Speedy Texan deputy avoids hard charging cows. See, it's all about animals. Uh, police Carol Coyote for the second time this week in Philly. I didn't hear about that. Dog bites police horse. Partic uh, participated in mounted unit uh, life event. Woman gets prison for uses someone else's tainted urine. There you go. That's a good story. That's a good Josh Cass story there. Uh, let's see what's going on in TMZ. I don't care about celebrities that much, but, you know, usually every once in a while. So, yeah, Michelle Wolf destroys Trump administration. Um, Tom Hanks, Rita Wilson's 30th anniversary. They party with Oprah and Obama. Uh, Kanye West's will put mother... Okay, I think I... I think I read that story last night, I believe. Um... Ko oh, Kobashi, uh, Kobashi, that's that Asian uh, hot dog eating contest. He smashes a chugging contest. Okay, and I would check the technology news, but there's usually nothing going on. But I'll check it anyways. Let's see if there's any weird, since I don't do crazy tech lessons anymore, because, you know. And that person that quit, by the way, did me a favor, because now I can spend time doing other stuff, so... Not gonna blast that person, you know. Uh, Dutch police uh, have shut down course in reve uh, revenge porn investigation. The revenge porn is still a thing. I thought all those sites were taken down. I used to watch those things. No girl would ever fuck me, by the way, to get revenge on anybody. That would just be too much punishment for the girl. Um. Yeah, I don't think there's anything really going on. Bill Gates pledges 12, 12 million for universal flu vaccine research. Will it be enough? What are they doing with all that money? I want to know. I want a breakdown. We we invest that much money. Did they give you a breakdown of it? I don't know. Okay, Facebook Messenger's kids is getting a sleep mode. Yeah, put these kids to sleep, man. They shouldn't be on Facebook. Well, anyways, folks, that's the end of the show. As I said before, on the next episode, there will be a, a new prank call. When I say new, not brand new. But a call I already put on prank calls for you. Um, and also a new song. And it's not a funny song. It's a dark song. Ooh, dark. Yeah. Um, but that's going to be on the next episode. And uh, there might be a Josh Cast live next Thursday with Bill Miller, Will Fitz. I mean, I'm down to do it. But you never know. Something might come up. And uh, we'll go from there. So thank you for listening. From the bottom of my rotten heart. If you didn't listen to some of this or the whole thing. And I'll see you folks on the next one. This is your... All right, enough. You have just listened to... The world's most awful podcast show... Josh Cat.